SDR News coverage of Interop 2014 in Las Vegas features interviews with a number of Interop exhibitors, including this in-depth interview series, which was recorded and provided by HP. So Rob Haviland is the uh, senior manager for the uh, Flex Campus or the Campus Technical Marketing Team, and thanks for, uh, for thanks for all your help behind and in front of the camera. And uh, so one of the things that we do have some partners on as well. I know we have some HP internal folks and some partners. So that, and I know that uh, there's a lot of exciting stuff happening around Simware. So maybe you want to just first of all just tell people what Simware is briefly, and then we can talk about how they get to it. All right. Thanks, Eric. Uh, Simware is a great uh, simulation package, and it simulates Comware devices. It's not an emulator because we don't emulate the hardware, but we simulate the operating system. So the the idea behind it is, as we see up here, we can create simulated devices. It can be routers or switches based on the Commodore 7 operating system, and we can either do fixed port or we can do modular, both in the routing and the switching arena. So first of all, you create your devices. Secondly, is now you can go configure. So you can configure advanced uh, features such as IRF in a, in a virtual environment, routing protocols. You can set up OSPF, BGP, simple RIP routing, static routes. I mean, you get all the features out of Com out of uh, Commerce 7 and uh, configure them. And then the other cool part about it is as you create these virtual environments, you can keep them on your PC or you can go external to other PCs that are uh, in virtual environments or connect them directly to uh, hardware and, and really uh, expand out. But it's not a uh, tool that you use for uh, testing because you know because the ASIC's difference. Where it just simulates Commerce 7 and specific features that aren't based on the ASIC. But it's a great learning tool for uh, Commerce uh, 7 devices. Awesome. And uh, I know one of the, one of the questions, if you want to come a little bit closer, um, one of the things that uh, I know people are asking again internally. So you've done a very uh, uh, methodical rollout of this. So we've tested it out internally to make sure it works. And I know then the next step is uh, is partners. And maybe you can talk about how partners can get to it and then what the, the broader plan is. Okay. As of today, we have it internally in HP. Uh, in the, um, we also have it on the partner drop box. So if you are a partner out there, feel free to uh, jump onto the uh, partner HP part, HPM partner drop box. You can download it from there. And we're in the process right now of actually uh, posting it on HP.com. So it's going to be in the it's going to be in the area where you'll be able to download it in about a week, so the general public can get to it. It's uh, it is like an open source. Uh, application so there is no service and support around it is what you get um, so please do not call our 1-800-HP uh, <laughs> service if you download it and utilize it but it is a great package and as we go along we're creating a website that uh, uh, mimics where the download is but we're going to start posting up configurations for the customers like well once a month an IRF here's how you set up an IRF environment here's how you set up a BGP environment here's how you set up a multi-tenancy environment so it's going to be fun exciting stuff and then our next goal after that is to create a forum so everybody can share ideas there like an open source and that's why we, we launched it internally methodically like an open source the uptick was just incredible. The people embraced it. They created stuff. They integrated it with the GNS3. They had uh, the Ubuntu builds, and we've got everything internally, and now we're going to take that external to the world. Awesome. So exciting stuff and a great way for people if maybe they're used to someone else's command line or something else, or maybe just trying to learn networking, just a great way for them to be able to... Uh, pick up something for free basically when they say nothing's free but this is free load it up and actually be able to learn our uh, the Commodore operating system that's correct and our uh, university guys HP University they're picking it up too to use it for labs and uh, stuff for uh, the the courses that they're bringing together excellent well Rob thanks so much for joining us